previously on Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is where it ends. It is where we it ends. There we go. Lovely. Bit of sawmill action going on there. Marvellous. Right, push the button. We'll do that. Let's find our cargo and let's find us if we've got see if we've, the one I want is still there. It is with 46 minutes remaining. Wow, and we actually are on the way to where we want to be. 22 tons of um, uh, wooden beams. Let's do that, and we're gonna have to drive on the other side of the road. This is gonna be scary. Not done that in a while. Right, where's our where's where's our cargo pickup from? There it is, over there. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. We're back in the UK. We're heading home. Or to my home anyway, maybe not your home, but my home. We're heading back to my hometown. So so we are going from Le Mans to Carlisle with um, a whole load of wooden beams because I bought myself a new trailer. I bought myself a logging trailer. I thought it was really cool. Plus I bought this brand new Avico truck and it's a Stalius um, highway and I can't remember the exact model of super highway or something like that. It's because you've got to put the word super in it so you know what you're doing. Anyway, so, um, we, 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 we've got, it says we've got 13 hours remaining on the journey. I think it's more, it's less than that, actually. So, let's, let's, uh, let's push the drive button. I'm hoping it hasn't crashed because um, it did suggest that it had maybe lost where I was at. Where am I? I don't think I have lost anything. Let's press M for map just to check that I am in the United Kingdom again. Yes, I'm on the M25. Yes, I'm on the other side of London. I'm on the, the south side of London. And I'm on my way up the road. Um, uh, it's uh, six hours and fifty-five minutes to go, and then we get back to my home city. And I'll give you some 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 absolutely useless facts about it while I'm there because because I know it quite well. Um, it's been my home city for a very long time. Um, anyway, all right, let's get this thing started up. Um, I forget, do you know so it's good, it, it, it's weird driving back on the the left hand side because we I spent so much time in Europe. Driving on the on 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 the of the right hand side of the road, it's really weird. Anyway, if you look down in the bottom right hand corner, we've got our GPS, and that tells you what speed I'm doing. I'm doing uh, 29 kilometres an hour, um, and I am doing um, eight. I've got an automatic eight gears. That's what I'm in at the moment. Oh god, I have no idea where I am here. Let's let's get on the M25. We're on the M25, right? Okay, I'm just going to stay very safe here. I think I've got to be across this lane as well, though, unfortunately. Yeah, I do. There we go, just jump jump across. Anyway, automatic 10 we're in now, A10. Um, then we've got the, the truck itself, which is the, the how much damage is there. So it, it gets, slowly goes red, finally gets to about 80 or 90%. And to be fair, it doesn't stop at that point. It's just a malfunction. Um, then we've got down next to that, we've got the bed, which is nice and empty because we've just had a nice load. Sorry, no, I've got the fuel, which is nicely full still. Um, and then we've got the bed, which slowly goes blue and then goes red, and then finally I sort of cry a lot and, and make make silly noises that that, that uh, um, I don't deserve it because it's crashing into some walls. No, because you fall asleep, it's fatigue, basically. Followed by the envelope, which is really underused. It's only really used um, during the, the the very early stages of the game, in the sense of that it's used for sort of t giving you guidance on what to do. I actually think it should be used for doing like sort of. I don't know seasonal special missions or something similar but but no we don't it doesn't doesn't quite work like that anyway um then we've got the time which is 2:58 a.m. then below that we've got the time we're going to get in which is Wednesday at 9:37 that's the time we're meant to be getting in and then continue straight on and then keep right keep continue straight on yeah moved over cool gold feel like I'm going really fast Go just uh, slow down a bit here all right, keep right. That's what we're doing. Keeping right. Anyway, um, I'm just going to let my speed off a little bit there. So, of course, it's cost. I've got kilometres, which is 97. is clearly 70 miles per hour. Um, well, I think we're okay here. Nobody's going to pull out on us as such. They're just going to join and merge. There we go. They're just joining and merging. That's absolutely fine. So, uh, and then we've got uh, what time we're going to get in. 9, 30, 30, 30, 34. We're really, we're really, we're really going for it down the road. So I got this new Vico Australis, which has kind of felt felt um, appropriate as I was heading back to where the, the whole thing started from. Liverpool is where my, my, my first base of base of operation was. Um, but 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 uh, but uh, where we're going, Carlisle is my home city or hometown. It's a city but it's a very small city. It's uh, 
I think it's 100,000 people. That's not a lot of people, to be honest with you. 100,000 is a very small city indeed. Um, it, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's also got the smallest cathedral in, in the United Kingdom, which is uh, very unexciting, but that's what defined it as a city once upon a time. It had a small cathedral, so a very, very small cathedral that we have there. Um, in fact, it's extremely small. I actually quite like it, though, because it's got uh, a number of pagan gods paint, um, sort of etched into the stonework just to make sure that, you know, if, if this Christianity thing didn't work, out and um, there was the, there was always the option of uh, of going back to the old green man and uh, sacrificing some virgins so 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 the, you know with that with that far north <laughs> In the United Kingdom or England, anyway, um, we're not quite Scotland. It's uh, it's not. It's just on. It's just on the border. It's around about four or five miles away, to be honest with you. Yeah, it'll be about four or five miles. Depends on which way you go, realistically, as the crow flies, kind of thing. It's not far at all. Cross in and out of the thing, but via a, a place called um, the, the, so the first sort of little village that uh, or town that's uh, over the border in Scotland, which literally has a hotel which is called um, the Gretna Chase, and the chase is where the parents of uh, of, 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 of of young lovers who were eloping to to get married in Scotland because you can get married at 16 in Scotland were eloping to um, they went to this they went they went that the parents would chase them to, in England to to the Gretna Chase and that's where they'd stay and then of course the, 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 the lovers would marry in Scotland at the age of 16 if they wished to do so so that's that was a big thing once upon a time I don't, don't think people marry quite the same now it's not the same nowadays I think I think I think it's it's just a it's a victim of its age if that makes sense you know nowadays you, you know people are couples and partners Without that 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 uh, requirement to get the government involved, um, marriage being, <laughs> I love you so much. I want to get the government involved, and um, that's what that's what that means nowadays. Um, but uh, yeah, that that was a, that was a big thing. It's still a it's still a pretty much a, a marriage place, you know. If you go there, there's a lot of the whole, uh, you know. It's t it's t it. My wife's shouting in the background. See that? See, I had to get the government involved with my wife. Um, but anyway, but but she's shouting in the background. It's a bit tacky, and I, I, she's she's absolutely right. It's extremely tacky. It's as it's as bad as it seems, you know. Um, I mean, I I went to a wedding. Uh, uh, well, to be fair, I went to a wedding there a, a number of years ago, maybe t ten years ago. And it amused me that you went straight from the church to the part where you do a part where they have a little ceremony over an anvil so the smiths could marry you, basically, in Scotland. Um, so a blacksmith could, could marry you. Um, and and uh, you have a little ceremony of that, and you exit through the gift shop, and I'm not kidding. You go through the gift shop, where you can actually buy wedding rings if you fancy doing the, the whole occasion really quickly. Yeah, it's like that. So a bit, it, it was, it is a bit tacky. Um, it's not, it's not. I, it wouldn't be my um, premier destination for, for for getting married, if I if I'm honest nowadays. But uh, yeah, it's just over the border. So so we're 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 an English town or an English city that is uh, sort of was the was was uh, very much a, 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 um, a town that's a city that swapped its its nationality regularly between Scottish and, and English and there's a there's a book called the Domesday book and the Domesday book is a sort of a, a sort of a census of uh, Great Britain uh, or, or England at the time and it doesn't include um, Carlisle because Carlisle was Scottish at the time so we're the only English city that doesn't didn't appear in the in the uh, the, the the Domesday book um, my wife's trying to tell me it's Doomsday, but if she actually looked it up, it's actually called Domesday because it's the name of the gentleman who created it. And he's called Dome, D-O-M-E. So I'm just just correcting her there as well. I didn't realise that until I looked it up not that long ago, to be honest with you. So so it isn't. A lot of people call it the Doomsday Book. It's actually a Domesday Book. So 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 there. <laughs> You've all been told. You've all been told. So yeah, it doesn't doesn't feature in the in that book. It doesn't feature at all in that book, actually, to be honest. So um, it's also it is also a very strange city. There was uh, rules about um, you know, the Scottish being uh, ejected from the the country at after a certain time at night um, the, to to stop troublemaking. Apparently, um, you yeah, know, they were literally thrown over the walls if they were caught in there if they were were done. Because it's actually a walled city as well. It's a very um, it's not much of the walled city left, and but it's it, it's a, a proper militaristic castle. If you ever came here, it's not. All these pretty ones that you get down uh, further south in the in, in England or, or or even further north in Scotland. It's not. It's it was it was a it was a war um, castle. Its walls are so thick; they're twelve feet thick. You know, it's it's built for taking a battering, and it did. It it went. It swapped sides so many times, um, and it took a battering, and it really did. It really was a a proper 
um, sort of uh, uh, you know sort of militaristic castle and still to this day the army um, holds holds ranks there they have they have some things there but you can go around it as a, as a tourist if you if you wanted to do I mean there's bags of history I mean I, I mean quite literally Hadrian's Wall goes through the middle of the city as well it runs through um, the, the, an area of the city called Stanix and Stanix is a, 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 a Roman village um, that used to be there um, and and uh, by but but uh, but uh, to be fair, um, it, the the, uh, the 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 wall itself um, is, is fabled to be a wall that goes across. But actually, it was um, dikes and um, ditches at one point. So that's all it was. So they built up walls, and, and in fact, to be fair, what run through the city here was dikes and ditches. So, but one of the things he says, try to take a photo as we run through the run through the countryside. That's terrible driving there. So it, it, may, it might be the only photo we get. Um, Three hundred and seventy-seven kilometers to go. Not long at all. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, it's a sort of common misconception that there was a great big wall that went all the way across. Though no, there are actually parts of it that weren't walled. Um, they were they were because they had militaristic camps there. So 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 they they weren't they weren't that walling those areas wasn't required. If that makes sense. Here we go. I don't know where we are distance wise. Birmingham. We're outside Birmingham. Second largest city in the United Kingdom. Million and two is it? Million two people so it puts that in context doesn't it if my city's only got a hundred thousand and Birmingham being the second largest it's got a million two I'm sure it's bigger than that now actually if I'm wrong put it in the comments below you am sure you will do but 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 you know I'm pretty convinced it might it might be more than that there we go in the motorway M6 Manchester is 140 miles away so so we're another hundred miles from that be about right 80 to 100 miles. Would be nice to get a straight line so that I can actually do. Uh, oh god, the oil, the, the oil, the the diesel's very empty now. Um, yeah, let's service. Let's service. I've just just just, just spotted that. Go straight on. Here we go. Here we go. We're coming there. Pulling off into into just to, just to get some diesel. Last minute sort of uh, decision there. You know what? This is this it does does feel very uh, reminiscent of some of the of of, of uh, Britain's uh, uh, service stations. This one, right? Okay, let's get some diesel. There's a helicopter over there. Look, you know my obsession with helicopters. Even got the I've even got that little truck. I haven't been. To be fair, I haven't been back. To 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 uh, to 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 uh, get another to, to have a look and see if there's anything else. There we go. A little we get a little view of the diesels who come out. So we've got something anyway. Right. Okay. Let's 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 head out here. Wow. That seemed worse than it was. It wasn't that bad. Oh God, that was bad. Right. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Stop messing around. Stop messing around! Come on, watch what's, 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 watch what your load's doing. Right, it's like a, a a glassy haze going on from those lights, isn't there? That's coming down, even though it's still on. It's five oh for two a.m. Sun is well and truly risen in the sky. I'm going to join, rejoin the motorway shortly. Let's come off at of the services and rejoin. We'll make our little, make our a re, a re join to the motorway. And oh, 48. Oh, he's gonna let me in. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's good. He's joined. It's joined. Join. Join me. Rejoin me on the motorway. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Come on. Oh God. That was close. Oh, and he just whipped past me as well. That feels pretty bad, actually. Feels feels like well, a, a very dodgy manoeuvre performed there. I was actually, funnily enough, I was uh, I was uh, coming around the roundabout on the M6, funnily enough, just just to myself the other day, um, and uh, I, I, uh, there was a there was a truck coming out, and it was obviously like this. It was on the uh, on the left hand side, the drive, um, and there was a guy at the window, and uh, it was from it was the Netherlands. It was NL on the license plate, and this guy like pinned to the window on the passenger side, looking at me and waving his arms. Going, 
going, please, please let me out. You know what I mean? And I was like, I was like, go on then. You know what I mean? It's like, like, thank you. But but it was obviously his sort of co-pilot. But he's like pinned to the window, hoping somebody would pray because he couldn't. I, I, I quite honestly, I don't think with even the mirrors. I think best still in the world. I, I think he'd got himself in a bit of a bad position, so he couldn't quite see. Um, what he needed to see, if that makes sense. So, so he was, he was, he was a bit lost with his with his view. So, so I must. Do you know what I haven't done? Is I haven't upgraded any of my um, uh, garages to the next level. I've not upgraded, say, Liverpool to the next level. I haven't upgraded any of them to. to, to I've only got them as what's known as small at the moment. Or, um, yeah, small, not teeny. Because tiny is what you start with, and you only get one uh, truck when you do that. But I haven't upgraded them since. So. Um, Let's have a little look. Oh, it's a carrier with any nothing on. Can you get carriers as a as an option? You must be able to. Can you not? Can you? Transporters? Go straight on. We're going straight on. See if I can stay straight here long enough to get an outside view. There's an outside view. <laughs> Where, and then the world road curls again. Right, 229 kilometres, 3 hours and 44 minutes. I'm going to pull over here and be a good boy and sit in the lane that I should be sitting in. As so we, we work our way through the countryside towards Liverpool. We're going, that's, where, that's next on the sort of passing agenda of it. Don't know why they're not going full tilt down here, you know. Not can't work that one out. Distance so far in the middle of the dashboard there, down but down below the sort of the light above the Avico sign on my steering wheel, uh, 916 kilometres. That's how many kilometres I put on this truck so far since purchasing it. It's like nothing, isn't it? What's the most anybody's got on there? So I I I I don't think I've actually got that high before. Um, I don't think I've. I don't think I've. I don't think I've got very high in total across the truck because I'm. Al I'm almost always changing them after a while, aren't I? Because what I do is I. I find myself a new, uh, uh, you know, truck that or I want to try, and I swap to it. Definitely haven't been through scan. I'm sure I haven't got any Scania's. Have I been done Scania? I don't think I have done Scania. I don't think I've. I've done Mercedes. Done man. Oh sugar. Speeding offence. 80 kilometres, yes. I was watching the, uh, the, the, I don't know how long it's been out on uh, on uh, Amazon Prime for, for but uh, I was watching the new um, Grand Tour thing and I was absolute hysterics at the, at the latest, um, the Scandinavian one they've just done. Um, and I wasn't, I, I couldn't stop laughing. It was such a, it was such a, a nice time, if that makes sense. Even if, uh, even if, the, and not to spoil things, it really, it, it's worth, it's worth a watch. But I just, I just have to say, I had damn good chuckle throughout it. Um, some of, the, I mean, obviously, some of it's quite staged, and you know it is. But, but some of the stuff is really quite funny, you know, especially because it's like three mates having a journey through the, the whole thing. Like everybody watching my channel, we're all mates. We're all enjoying when we're, we're, we're mates on the channel. But yeah, it's like three mates having a great time, you know. And it and it really was a great time. The dynamic between the the, the three of those gentlemen is is actually really really good. Um, it really works well, you know. You've got Jeremy, who's that, uh, Jeremy Clarkson, who's that very boorish of, of gentleman, and uh, and then Hammond, who acts the fool, um, which is which is you know uh, 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 also a very amusing. And then uh, Richard Hammond, that is, and then and then um, uh, and then James May, who's sort of uh, they call him Captain Sensible, but at the same time, um, he's 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 a, he's just a nice, balanced fella. <laughs> like, actually, my favourite parts in it is usually when he gets annoyed, and you can see he's genuinely annoyed with whatever they've done to him or whatever's happened it's genuinely annoyed um, and I quite like that I think that's quite good fun um, so yeah it's it's worth I would I would recommend watching that I quite enjoyed the Grand Tour I quite liked it when they did it as a TV series type thing but I quite like the way that they're doing these sort of like one-off specials and I know it's because of uh, Jeremy Clarkson's health is he's not particularly well however saying that he's still doing the plumbing th farming thing isn't he as well yeah, it's got, they're in deep with Amazon aren't they we're in deep with Amazon. I think I think when you've got a style that works and people are happy with it, they they kind of don't worry about what or what what you do. If that makes sense, there's there's no there's no need to to to, to do something different to the formulaic formulaically. It doesn't need to be changed. That was a big word for this afternoon, wasn't it? 
I say this afternoon, it could be morning when you're watching this, it could be evening when you're watching this, whenever you're watching this, so, uh, but it was afternoon when I'm doing this. Um, I was wanting to overtake that truck. I hope it didn't upset that car too much. Wow. Zoom round quick. Another car coming up underneath me. I've got, I've got to be in this lane anyway, it seems. 209 kilometres to go. I have got a beverage actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna once I get this truck speeded up sped up a little bit, I'm gonna I'm gonna have my beverage. Nineteen degrees C apparently down there, if you look at the speedometer. In the speedometer below that there's a little uh, L, L, LCD. LCD? Yes, L C D liquid crystal display. My god. It can probably it can't be. What if it is? Probably is, you know. Liquid crystal display. Wow. It's amazing to think that. Okay. I'm going a bit fast, but we're okay. I've got a cup of coffee. I've got coffee. Let's just drink coffee while this is while we're trundling along here. Oh god, that's good. There we go. Right, gotta stay gotta stay in this lane towards Manchester and Carlisle, that's where we're going. That's the place. That's the same place as the journey home. Funnily enough, though, that it's not. Uh, I think I do, is the. Uh, I know it's it, they're off the sort of fictionally generated things, so uh, I know that this this isn't exactly what I would call incredible mapping. It's this. First off, there's no blooming castle, and if you were going to put any kind of landmark in it, that that landmark would be would be here. If that makes sense, you know this this would be the oh, vegan land. This is past me. Nice to see a bit of vegan land and Nordic crown. It's beside me. Um, but uh, yeah, if you were going to do a bit of, uh, if you were going to do a bit of, um, uh, sort of, uh, you know, you have to put a landmark in. The landmark would definitely be either. Well, to be fair, would it be the cathedral, the castle? It would be the castle because massive. It dominates like one of the major roads. We literally have a road called Castle Way, um, and it's on the other side of the road there, um, and it, it 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 dominates that kind of thing. We've got that kind of. We've got those kind of. It, those older buildings, you know, the ones that are completely wonky and all kinds of stuff. There's lots of those knocking around in, in the city. But it's not as a tourist. It, it is tourism's one of its big things, but but it's not. It's it, because it's so far north. It tends to, and and other side of the Lake District. It doesn't. I don't think it attracts as much tourism as say Kendall does, which is at the other side of it. So that's if the Carlisle's north, um, the Kendall south. Um, Which is weird, actually, to be honest. I mean, the house pricing will, is li literally 50 or 60% higher in uh, in South Cumbria than it is in North Cumbria. I think that's the thing, though. The further north you go with anything, it always becomes that kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's cheaper in the UK as the further north you go. I mean, obviously, pr prices of food and things like that are, uh, are, are the usual sort of increase that everybody else has. But but but, but housing and, and the general cost of living tends to be cheaper, so. Okay. Making our way through. Lovely. Apparently, um, I mean, if you're watching this Sunday, um, which I'm hoping you are, um, there's an Arctic blast uh, attempt uh, coming across the United Kingdom next 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 uh, next week. Um, we've had we had one of those previously, I think, and uh, in in uh, it was a number of years ago, and uh, it was in, in sort of in February, and literally it just came down, and we're not really we're not really geared up for it because we're, we're quite lucky. We get quite a lot of tropical heat that comes across. I mean, for a country that effectively is on a on a parallel with sort of the you know um, uh, parts of of, of of Russia and things like that, we're, and we're at that kind of level of uh, parallel, you know, with with Moscow. I think London's in parallel with Moscow if you draw drew a line with it. But 
we don't get the minus 40 temperatures because of all the sort of tropical heat that comes from, I think it's South America, isn't it? And it all curls around from there and the, and the, and the Atlantic itself. So, so we're quite, we're quite lucky really not to get those, those, those massively sort of cold sort of temperatures. So, but the, so that we're getting it this time around because there's a hurricane apparently um, just off the uh, outskirts, Hurricane Fiona it is. Um, she's just off the outskirts of uh, Canada at the moment and she's sucking all our lovely warm air out. So, so we're going to get all the cold air that we we don't normally get she's sucking it all together so we're going to get some lovely cold air I'm, I'm not really looking forward to it I'm not a big fan of the cold air really I don't mind cold I don't mind cold don't mind wet I think the coldest I've ever felt it personally and um, where I live was minus 16 and that was that was a that was a weird year that's when snow no longer sticks it's powder it's literally powder a photo of the car with a with a minus 16 in it i don't know if i'll be able to find it but if i do i'll put it up but if i don't it won't be there so one of the two it's either there or it won't, it's not there it's probably not there because i can't don't know where i've put it if i've got if i've got that for oh come on move over go straight on oh shit fuck 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 that car corner sorry uh, that was me getting really rude there I apologise profusely for my for my for my bad language there. That doesn't happen very often, does it? Um, I'm, I, if I put that in the title sequence, I may have to bleep that out. I was watching uh, another YouTuber the other day, and he ran this little thing at the beginning. He says people may not be aware that if you swear within the uh, first or profuse, uh, pr uh, pr uh, you know, profusely and, and repeatedly swear within the first 30 seconds of a YouTube video, it's a good chance it's going to get demonetized. So he had this little rolling thing that said that, and then he put this, then he put this video on of, uh, and he started with the F word, of course, like just, just accidentally happened there. I've, I've, I've went, um, I went, uh, I, I think I just passed being a 12 rating there because I used the, the the F word twice in a row, didn't I? When I was going, was, uh, maybe three times. So, so, but yeah, he, he put that, put that there. So. Uh. Lovely. I'm enjoying this drive. I hope you are. Whoa! Slow down a lot. Tunnels through mountains. Yeah. We don't really tunnel through the mountains. Actually, to be fair, the drive through the Lake District, the, the from 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 sort of through the middle of it, is actually quite impressive. I'll be honest. We don't cut through the mountains though. We 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 snake our way through them, and there's some very high and low parts. There's a there's a uh, one of the highest points is a, a point called Shap. Um, and you can sometimes it's just unpassable in the winter. I mean, it just it's just snow galore. It's very high mountain. You literally drive to the top of the mountain as part of the motorway, um, and 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 it, yeah, it's pretty 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 high. Oh, they're still digging up the motorway. Eighty miles per hour. We're going for it. Speed cameras. Oh, there's a man actually digging this time round. A single man, though, working on the whole thing. I think it was one at the beginning, though, wasn't there? Maybe another one here. And he's got uh, some. She's got a lot of work to do if he's the only person working on that job, though. I'll be honest. Oh, no, there's another one. He's uh, drinking a cup of tea, I think. He's having a tea. He's very British. He's having a lovely cup of tea in Britain with tea. I don't do tea, by the way. I only do coffee. I know that's, that sounds terrible, but but I do. I only do. I only do coffee. Not very. F I'm not a big fan of tea. I never really got it. I don't like the taste, really. I mean, that's not. I don't. I don't hate tea. Don't get me wrong. But first off, you wouldn't want me to make you a cup of tea because I don't drink tea, so so it's bad. I mean, I've drank coffee though since I was like ten, um, maybe younger. I've always loved coffee. I just like the taste of that 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 as a, that beverage, and I think also I, I'm probably highly addicted to uh, um, caffeine at this point uh, I think that intravenously it is, it's fitted into my body it's probably, that's probably not going to help with my my, 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 uh, my, my uh, coffee sponsorship though, I'm intravenously dealing with uh, coffee addiction um, no, I don't have any kind of addiction to caffeine he says pulling a face sideways none at all it wasn't, wasn't me, I didn't do it there we go, we're coming off. If this would be the first junction, this would be junction 41 of the motorway. Um, 
There's some really weird maths going on because Carlisle and Newcastle are like two totally different directions. One's on the east and one's on the west. So coming off here and saying Carlisle, Newcastle that way seems really weird. On that signposting, it would only say Carlisle because it's kind of like the end or the corner of where it is in the in the in the in the, uh, the, the, the place. It's only 60 minutes away. It's uh, Newcastle from uh, where we where we are. About 40 on the train because it goes it goes super fast. The train sometimes. Here we go. So this is the logging camp that we're going to drop this stuff off. Oh, that's perfect. It's perfect. That's perfect. That's this is what I needed. Little 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 video, and then what we need to do is we need to find a job that takes us back away. But we'll have to do a sleep first. But we need another wooden a wood another wooden job, another wooden job. It sounds like it sounds bad, doesn't it? Another 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 timber based um, or uh, tube based um, um, that sort of job for uh, for the whole thing. Little th the the uh, the dry stone walls, very very common around where I live. See them quite a lot. It's quite a skill. People actually make their livings putting these things back together again. Get ready to turn left. It's hard work though. Very hard work. Couldn't do it nowadays. Not with my back. But uh, yeah, definitely. And then it's just Carl Glasgow. That's probably about right. Yeah, Carl Glasgow is fine. Oh, I'll let that one off. But Carl and Newcastle is definitely two different places. Here we go. I love all the switches. There's lots of vents for my air conditioning as well. That's amazing. Oh, God. E acres. There we go. E acres. I need some timber. It's all over. From Le Mans. Let's watch the mirror at the top there. See the mirror next to the dice? That's the one I'm watching to get us in there. Let's handle this job. Let's get this extra cash. Oh, beautiful. I like that. That's very doable. Right there beside us. Is that chickens? Oh, we got chickens? Look, I love a bit of chicken action. That sounds so wrong. No, I like chickens. Look at those crazy critters. All eating in a row. Look at that. Look at chickens. Get a nice picture of the truck there as well. Look at that. Wow. Nice. Very nice. Anyway, sorry. Um... Okay, let's uh, use the space in the environment. I get into trouble if I don't, because uh, there's wonderful people who watch my channel who have really helped me out with this along the way. And, they, um, you know, you've, you've, you've helped, me, helped me learn some of the skills that I need to learn. So we're going to have a little look over our shoulder here, and let's, uh, let's turn these wheels, and we'll, we'll get this thing straightened up and plonked into this, this gap, I think. I'm doing this blind. I'm, t I'm terrible. Doing it by the power of, uh, of, 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 uh, I don't know, magic. Right, so that, I want to straighten that up now. Because I think I'm absolutely spot on. So I want to come forward perfectly. Yeah, I'm almost there. Look. So if we look out the window. I always, I always quite, oh, God, I've gone the wrong way. I always like doing it out the, 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 you know, sort of where I can... Uh, I always quite like looking out this window. I'm not very good at looking the other way. I don't know about anybody else, but I always find that... I always find... I don't mind reversing the other way, but I just just find this so much more... There we go. That'll do. It it'll take it. That'll do. We'll have it. Right, press button to turn it off. Turn it off the engine. Press enter to empty the load. I have emptied the load. Excellent. 1,066 kilometres. It's 25 hours. Did it beautiful timing. Look at that. Lovely. Lots of experience. Lots of money. 37,000. So that's a good chunk of cash. That's a good chunk of cash. Let's have a look at the world map now. Let's see if we can find somewhere to park. Next to... Near my home. Near my home. Let's see what we got. We've got a hometown there. There's a garage there. Because we've not been to that. Should we should we tick that one off? Or is there one near the, the motor? It's probably best to go into to, to the place itself. Oh, and there's one of them, um, Tramini or whatever they are called, um, things. We'll go we'll go there. But this is where we're going to stay the night. We're going to stay the night in my home city. We're going to do the, going to do the full tour. Um, and there'll be absolutely Ready, nothing there that you, is recognisable. Is anybody else's home city uh, feature in the in the game? 
I think a mine only features because if you think about it, one of the big things or big haulage firms of the UK, which is now merged with another firm, um, we used to be at um, Eddie Stoppard's, and Eddie Stoppard's home base was uh, was actually my home city. In fact, it still is. Um, I'll be honest, but it's merged with somebody else. Can't remember the name of them. I think that the Stoppard brand will probably will probably disappear as a part of it. To be honest with you. Unfortunately, I've turned into the, that guy who has to look out his window and has got a fella screaming at the side of it. Please let us out! Please let us out! Yeah, I think it will stay survive for a, for for a while, but but I think it's I think it's I think the heyday of the the the, the do you think the heyday of the Eddie Stoppard thing has gone? I think it has. I think I, I mean I picked up obviously a truck the other day from them, but. Um, but but it was but I, I think that I think that that I don't know if that spotters element of it still happens. I certainly see you still see truck driving spotters though. I'll be honest, you do. Here we go. Well, actually, in fairness, there's, there is there there is a very tall freestanding chimney still in our city, so I'll, I'll, they can have that. So this is chimney is active there. It's not actually active nowadays, um, but it's a uh, it's a uh, it's well known. Um, they had that um, the 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 seventies uh, and eighties and nineties um, steeplejack go up it. Well, Fred Dibner, do you remember Fred Dibner? Uh, if, you, if you don't know who he is, have a little look for Fred Dibner. It's a steeplejack. It just was fearless basically, but he went up it. I think it's eight. Eight, I think it's 800 meters. I think I might be wrong. It might be 600. No, it's 600. 600? Oh god, it's probably not even that tall. It's maybe feet that. It's probably 800 feet, which is a whole different kettle of fish. Um, anyway, it's not a particularly t tall um, uh, 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 tower, but it's part of an old mill that's still there, and it still it still exists. You can't really look around it though. It's just tall chimney, bit like that stack over there. But but uh, yeah, it's 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 still here. It's very much still here. I haven't even talked about all the different modifications I've got in the game now today. I've just talked about history and other things. I mean, we even had, uh, what's he called, that Bonnie Prince Charlie Bob to turn up as well, because of course we were one of the stops from Scotland um, when he was working his way across the, the countryside to, 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 to invade England. So close to becoming whole, all wholeheartedly Scottish, you know. Uh, and he stopped because he got bad information. This is the the, the problem with um, disinformation. He got bad information and fled. Um, I say he was English, but he was French, wasn't he? Um, but but anyway, uh, we got they got bad. He got bad in, in, intel. And he was like he was almost there. Um, and he th and he got intel that the sort of the, the, the you know the English army had uh, rallied and wherever else it was, and it actually wasn't true. And and uh, he cut sort of tail and, and fled um, uh, back into Scotland and then made a runner. But he was actually very very close to becoming you know the uh, the, the effectively I guess the I don't know if we want to call it the, the, the you know the the, uh, the 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 king of England. Um, right, I'm going to dump my trailer here I think, and then I'm going to drive the truck in. I doubt I can park like this. No, I can't. I thought I might not be able to. But I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the trailer in. Don't roll backwards, man. I'm gonna drop the trailer in here, and nicely. And then I'm gonna unhitch, which I don't normally do. But I'm gonna unhitch. I'm gonna chuck the trailer in over here. I'm sure they won't mind me leaving the trailer there for the night. I'm just gonna check now by. By cheating, uh, well, not cheating, by doing what you should do. That I'm close enough there. I'm not going to put it too close because I'm just worried that someone's going to park a truck there, and then what I'm going to end up with is a bit of a, a situation where I, I'm not really. Uh... All right, so I ran into the hedge. I was trying to avoid running at the hedge. Yeah, let's have a look. That'll do. Right, okay, so if I press T, I can drop the trailer. So I'm decoupling it. And the trailer is dropped, so I can pick that up again in the morning after we've had a little sneak sleep. I say the morning, it's going to be the evening, to be honest, once we've had a sleep. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll drop our truck here next to this lovely other Avica. No, I don't want to do any modifications to the truck, even though I did crash it, didn't I? I think I've crashed it twice. I think Mark pointed this out last episode. Mark Middleton, who's in the comments, say hello. Um, uh, Mark mentioned this last episode. I think I think I crashed this thing the moment I got it. Is that nice to see the two together, two Australiuses? I'm the slightly larger model than the, the one that's there. I think. Yeah, I think I think I am. 
Oh no, wait, maybe we're both identical. Yeah, we're identical, except for the fact one's UK based and one's uh, um, one's one's the uh, one's one's a European one. Wow. What's the odds of that? Anyway, right. Okay, push the engine off, and I'm gonna go I'm, jump above it like that. No, no. I'm gonna press enter. We'll rest for the night, and it should be seven o'clock. Oh, actually, I can live with seven o'clock because it's not too late that. So it's got the sun sun setting over the top of it. That's brilliant. Right, okay. So I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for the watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.